Welcome to another lesson with the EMA. Let me check if it's recording okay. We are recording, we are on. So, uh, before we start with anything, I'd like to emphasize another point. I cannot stress this enough, but then this lesson is one of the most important lessons from the EMA. All lessons from the EMA are important, but then this one, this one is top priority. It's one of those lessons which are just amazing, phenomenal. I'm even getting shivers down my spine while making this lesson. Okay, but then before we start with the actual lesson, I just need you to know uh, something. Being a trader requires discipline. It doesn't matter how much knowledge you get. Without discipline, you'll just end up nowhere. So, uh, discipline alone can be the reason why you eventually make it in the trading industry. That's what you should know. So this is why at the day you choose to be a trader, your lifestyle should have changed. You know, as a trader, you, you feed on research and you cultivate knowledge. When people in the world are seeing chaos, you are seeing opportunity. So do your research and you'll just find, don't be lazy, That's please. There's money, a lot of money to be made here. You know, so when there's chaos going on uh, in the global economy, going on around the world, your metatrader sound should be coming on in the background as you sit there waiting for opportunities. Each and everything, note this, each and everything that is happening around you, it must slowly begin to relate to a trade. And everywhere you must begin to see opportunities to make money. Then I can say uh, you are ready for, for the field. But then besides that, let's get into today's lesson. Today's lesson will be mainly about fear and greed. But then mostly fear, which drives markets. I'm talking about geopolitical factors like pure uh, fundamental dynamics of the market. You don't, you, you know, when you get this lesson, you don't need to look at technicals. You just look at them for, uh, what can I say, more confirmation on your technical setups or strategies and all those things. But then when you just have this, you just know, that, okay, when I've received this alert, I already know what I'll be selling and what I'll be buying and I'm definitely going to make money without even looking at the chart. So, uh, in this lesson, you're going to hear me talk about uh, something called SHCs. These are safe haven currencies or commodities. These are the currencies or commodities whereby uh, where investors flock to or they run to when there is trouble in the market. When there is chaos, when there is a global disaster, these currencies or commodities, they gain a lot of strength. The safe haven currencies or commodities. Just like the word is self-explanatory, safe haven. That's where people run to in large numbers for safety. So these are the currencies. The currencies are... The currencies are JPY, uh, the CHF, and the commodity is gold. Gold or XAU. So I'll just be focused. I know there may be a lot of safe haven currencies or commodities and other things, but then today I'll just be focusing on these ones. Then, we also have what we call the uh, the CDCs, the commodity dependent currencies or the commodity currencies. So these were, these currencies are mostly or the economies are mostly dependent on exports. So when there is global unrest, when there's chaos in the markets, these currencies are sold. They become weak. So, I hope you are already getting a picture. 
when there is global chaos or market chaos, you buy the safe haven currencies and you sell the commodity dependent currencies. What are the, de the commodity dependent currencies? They are the top ones are AUD, NZD, and also the CAD or CAD. So for safe haven currencies, we have the JP, the, the JPY, the CHF, and also the gold. Those are the ones which you usually buy when there's a disaster in the markets. When everything is going south in the markets, they become strong. I'll also show you what I'm, I'm talking about. Then, uh, these ones, the commodity-dependent currencies, are AUD and ZDM CAD. They become weakened when there's a disaster in the markets. I'll also show you, which is why on my screen here, which is why on my screen I've deleted all pairs, metals or whatever, and I'm only left with uh, the currencies which I've mentioned. So, we, you can also see that we have crude oil. Crude oil also becomes weak when there's a disaster. And then we have US tech, which is NASDAQ. Yeah, NASDAQ. Let's talk about NASDAQ. NASDAQ sits alone. <coughs> so, NASDAQ is a stock index. NASDAQ or NAS100 is a stock index. So, when there's global unrest or unease or chaos, stocks usually take a hit. So that's why you'll find that uh, during s such times whereby uh, s the situation is unfavorable or conditions are unfavorable in the market, uh, NAS 100 will take a sell because it's comprised or composed for that matter, of uh, the top technological companies. So when their stocks uh, plummet, when they fall, when they dive, you will find that uh, this NASDAQ will also fall because it's a stock index or a stock indicator for that matter. But then you'll see everything, you'll see everything which I've just talked about on the charts. That's why I'm saying you don't need to look at the charts because with, with what I've already said, you already know what to do when uh, such and such happen. But then you can also go to the charts and you will see that what I've just said happened. So let's get into the charts. Let's, get, let's start off with uh, the, Komoi, the safe haven currencies, which are CHF, JPY and also gold. So we say they become strong when uh, the global economy has become weakened. So right now is a perfect example for, <clears throat> uh, for, showing, for showing the strength of these currencies or commodities and also the weakness of the uh, commodity-dependent currencies or export-dependent currencies. So, we have uh, CHF, and right now we are having the coronavirus. We are having the coronavirus, which is causing mayhem in both the geopolitical and also the, the fundamental world. So, the, the markets are going crazy. So, look at how the CHF has reacted. It became strong, hence USDCHF fell. So uh, remember uh, the coronavirus, there were a few cases in December in ending, yeah, December end there. Then in January beginning, uh, the situation was still under control. Then chaos started breaking out uh, end of January to the beginning of February. Now uh, it's just chaos but then soon enough it will be fixed but then yeah we're talking let's just say february uh, end of january february march that's where 
the full effects of the coronavirus we're seeing on the market. So this is why if you look at CHF, it just became strong. Even if you look at other CHF pairs, you will see that uh, where CHF is a quote, a quote means the second or the last currency, just like in USD, CHF, uh, CHF is a quote. You'll find that the pairs have fallen. The pairs have gone down because CHF is strong. So I'm mainly choosing USD uh, in our pairs because uh, USD is, uh, okay, let me clear this. As I was saying, USD is one of the major currencies. So that's why I compare it with other currencies. So we have seen the effect on CHF. Let's go to JPY. JPY, same story. Coronavirus. JPY became strong. USD JPY became a cell. This Remember, this is a daily time frame. This is a daily time frame. So look what is just happening. Without even having to uh, uh, plot any trend line or any whatever technical setup or input any EA or indicator or nothing, just coronavirus is causing chaos out there, then this is just what happens. You just know I'm going to buy JPY. So any pair with uh, JPY, any pair with JPY as a quote, I'm going to sell it because JPY is strong. Simple as that. So let's go to, let's go to, let's go to, let's go to gold. Let's go to gold. We see in such times what do we do on gold? We buy gold. Gold becomes strong. As you can see. As you can see. In the past few in the past few months, gold has risen. Let's now go to the let's now go to the uh, export dependent currencies, the AUD and ZD and also the CAD. So let's start off with USD CAD. CAD became weak, as you can see. So USD CAD went up. CAD is one of uh, the export-dependent currency. So it became weak when there was this uh, severe outbreak and severe infections spreading worldwide due to the coronavirus. So it became weak. Then let's go to NZDUSD. Also became weak. It also became weak. As you can see, it's also been falling. Let's go to AUD. <laughs> Let's go to AUD. I hope you're just seeing. I hope you're just seeing what's happening. I'm trying to contain... <clears throat> my excitement while telling you these things because uh, I once mentioned them in I think it's if it's not 2017 it's 2018 but then since it was text I take it uh, that uh, a few people took it serious that when when there is global unrest or economic unrest you buy the safe haven commodities and then you sell the export dependent currencies or commodities so <clears throat> right now uh, looking at AUD USD you can also see it took a hit plus AUD uh, AUD also had uh, problems with the Australian bushfires you know such things you should just know that when this happens i'm going to sell the commodity or export dependent currency and buy the safe haven uh, currency so it means AUDJPY fell the most because 
A JPY was the strongest AUD was the weakest during such times. But then nonetheless, let's go to Nasdaq. Let's go to Nasdaq. Coronavirus, just as I said, stocks took a hit. The stock index will also go down. So uh, the airlines were also affected the most due to travel restrictions. Most people cancelled uh, their uh, traveling plans and also some governments also uh, shut down uh, their airports and uh, other means of traveling or transportation for the time being just to have this situation under control. This virus is no joke. It's no joke, but then uh, it's also money for some of us. Uh, we've managed to 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 make to make a lot of money from uh, this virus. We're not saying that you should just pray that there's economic unrest or there's uh, a global chaos so that you can make money. No, we don't hope for such and we don't pray for such because you can also make money under normal conditions. But then, if it so happens, if it so happens that uh, if it so happens that such things okay, then now you know that you're going to make a whole lot of money. So it's not only the case where uh, it's not only the case where okay, let me do this. As I was saying, it's not only uh, the case of the coronavirus. Uh, we had such uh, we had other instances like uh, the as I mentioned before the Australian bushfires they also caused uh, economic unrest especially on uh, AUD and NZD. Uh, there's also the Brexit and there was a time I think it's 2018 whereby uh, the global economy was going into a recession. And, okay, before I even forget, when this thing happens, when such uh, situations, okay, whereby you find that there's global uh, economic unrest, interest rates, you should also know that most central banks cut their interest rates. Most central banks cut their interest rates when such is happening. Their monetary policy um, it shifts from uh, a holding position to an easing position. So this is uh, met with uh, a dovish reaction from the market. In simple terms, it's negative because most uh, most central banks are cutting the rate. Just like this week alone, we had AUD cutting its rate. We had USD cutting its rate. We also had the CAD cutting its rate. So the interest rates are from the Euro, the GBP, and also the NZD. So we are mostly projecting a cut unless, unless there's a solution, uh, maybe a vaccine or... Uh, could I see a cure for a virus, for this coronavirus? If there's a vaccine or some sort of treatment or ailment for this virus, then uh, we can see a monetary policy uh, being a bit positive. So the final thing, the final thing here is that